Welcome to our Wednesday's Bible discussion. Speaking words of life. Don't wait too late. Part one. Now choose today while mercy's lending her last hands. Will you die without God's last chance? When judgment comes, grace will be gone. To hope would be all if compassion is none. Then poured out on earth is death's sad song. Could you be lost without realizing the cost? Now choose today while mercy's lending her last hands. Will you die without God's last chance? Then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. Now when these things begin to happen, look up and lift your head, because your Redeemer draws near. Luke 21, 27-29 And he showed me a pure river of the waters of life, clear as crystals, proceeding from the throne of God and from the Lamb. And in the middle of its street and on either side of the river was the tree of life. Hallelujah! Yielding her fruit, twelve fruit, each tree its fruit every month. Amen. So when we you know, I had to talk about this because me and Ray, we were reading Revelations 22 because I wanted to go to the end. And we had had an assignment from our pastor to read Revelation, so I'm always in there anyway. Um, but then when, you know, when Jesus comes, then we're going to stand at the gate. You know, the angels are going to catch us up, the words say. We each have an angel. We were assigned an angel. Now, angels in camp around us when we need them but we have an angel that's assigned to and that angel is just who's gonna gather us up to be with the lord and then we are gonna stand and when they open the gates my god my mind my god the glory of god eyes haven't seen nor have it entered into the minds of men what god has prepared for those who love him and there shall be no more curse, but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. Amen. Hallelujah. There shall be no night there. They need no lamp nor light of the sun. For the Lord God gives them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. Now this is John saying this in Revelation 22. We're reading the whole book. And we're also going, we're also in Luke and in Daniel uh, doing references to what the word of God is saying. Then he said to me, these words are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angels to show his servants the things which must shortly take place. Behold, I am coming quickly. Blessed is he who keeps the prophecy of this book. Now I, John, saw and heard these things. And when I heard and saw, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel who showed me these things. Then the angel said to me, See that you do not do that, for I am your fellow servant and your brethren of the prophets and of those who keep the words of this book. Worship God. And he said to me, Do not seal the words of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He who is unjust, let him be unjust still. He who is filthy, let him be filthy still. He who is righteous, let him be righteous still. He who is holy, 
let him be holy still. And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his works. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do his commandments, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. Woo! Hallelujah! We go enter into the gates, into the city. Go back and read that and see what God has prepared. Just in short sharing that little bit. Where the, where, you know, the rivers of life going to flow from the throne. So when we get there, we take a drink, and then we go take the tree of life, and we're going to eat off of that. Okay? And it said yielding 12 fruit a month, and it's going to feed everybody. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I got to, I got I had to stop there. But outside are dogs and sorcerers, and sexually immoral, and murderers, and idolaters, and whoever loves of the practice a lie. I have sent my angel to testify to you concerning these things to the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, the bright and morning star. And the spirit says to the bride, come and let him who hears come and let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires, let him drink of the waters freely. Hallelujah. For I testify to everyone of the prophecy of this book that if anyone adds anything, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from these words in the book of prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life and the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He who testifies to these things says, Surely I am coming quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus, come. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Take heed. Now we're going into Daniel now for one through three. Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name saying I am the Christ. And they will deceive many. And you will hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you are not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise up against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there will be famines and pestilence and earthquakes and various places all these things are the beginning of sorrow people of god this is just the beginning okay that's why god is telling us to equip ourselves come and seek him for this last day direction and revelation from him Ask to be used by him. Lay our lives down as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to him. So the glory of God and the kingdom of God can shine through you as a testimony to help somebody else. Baby, we got to get our work done because when it ain't, it ain't going to be too long that the word says that we are going to be hunted. And, and and we're gonna be put in jail and, and beaten you know we're, we're gonna go through some stuff all right and so i'm telling you now that god is telling us to equip ourselves all right we're gonna cut this short and we're gonna do a part two but i'm saying to you read revelations 22 21 and 22 i mean the whole book of revelation but you know, just to go back and study what we're talking about and just go in there and ask God to write that word on the tablets of your heart. Okay, so that we not sin against him. And I'm also soliciting the prayers of the saints for myself and Ray. You know, we're asking for supernatural healing in our household. 
and I'm trusting God for it during these days. God, we're going to have to take God literally at his word, and we're going to have to trust him. We're only going to get what we believe in for. Amen? Hey. Not a measure of faith. <laughs> That's what it's going to be given to us. So I'm trying to believe him for this whole word. By his stripes, I am healed. And I want to be like that woman. Tell I'm going to testify as a testimony of the glory of God. And the power and the protection that he provides for his saints. You know, I'm going to say, um, uh, I'm going to say the prayer of forgiveness. And uh, then we just say, God bless you is our prayer. Happy Mother's Day to everybody coming up Sunday. I know y'all getting your outfits and getting cute and stuff, nails done and everything. And we celebrate you mothers because you are the vehicle that God used for creativity. And you are special. And you got to know that you're a queen, you're his bride. You're his bride. Everything he is doing, the whole plan was for you, the bride, the child, the, the one that he's going to bring to heaven and introduce the first people to be in heaven. You know, human beings, we're going to be like him, but we're going to be, oh, I don't know, but it's going to be good. All right. God love you and God bless you is my prayer. Uh, please uh, pray to, something like this, a prayer of forgiveness. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thou art the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Father God, I've been living my life my own way. Now I want to live it your way. I believe that Jesus is your son and that he died for my sins and rose for my justification. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me to be everything you created me to be. Forgive me of my sins. Save me. In Jesus' name, amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. Happy Mother's Day, everyone. God bless you. Bye.